and welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to continue making DNA. This time we're going to use it to modify those ear morphs that we've got. So we're going to use blend shapes in this one. Now it's not quite as well developed as uh, the bone DNA stuff, but it still works just as well. So let's get cracking. So if we open up our male race, we've created our DNA folder and we needed these two assets set up to actually do bone morphs. Um, we also had to use a special scene in order to set them. For this, there's no special scene, but we do need uh, some more assets created. Um, so much like what we've got here, we need a DNA converter, but a special one. Um, we need a normal DNA asset that lists the names of all the sliders. Uh, and we also need a bridging script that goes between them. Okay, so first thing, let's make our converter. Um, we need to make this manually, so there's no right click menu option for this, but it's very easy. So let's head into um, the game window, because as you may have noticed, this is an object prefab, it's a mono behavior object. So uh, let's call this fuse mail. Uh, morph converter sounds good and we will add a component to it and as you can see I've typed MOR in here and that gets this morph set DNA converter behavior so it's the same thing that we have in here but for morphs and as you can see it's a lot simpler okay so that's all we need let's make a prefab out of that put that in the DNA folder and we can then delete that so we've now got a, a new uh, DNA converter here. So next we'll make uh, a new DNA asset which holds the lists of our DNA. Now if you have an older version of Uma, you will have to copy an existing asset and uh, delete the values out of it. But uh, the newer versions of the developed branch of Uma, and by newer I mean as of today, um, have a right click option to right click, say Uma, DNA and create a dynamic DNA asset. So this will create a new slider asset for me. So I'm going to quickly change this to fuse mail morph asset. Okay, so I've effectively got the same two things that I had for my bone uh, converters. However, there's one more thing I need, which I'm going to right click and create Uma DNA and a morph set DNA and this is the bridge between uh, the morphs and everything else yeah I didn't explain that very well but just watch what I do and it will work trust me so again let's just rename this to fuse mail okay so we have three assets our converter our DNA uh, DNA set and our list of DNA names. So first thing before I do anything else, I need to make sure my DNA hash matches. Now we didn't look at this before because it all happens automatically, but in our morph set it requires this hash and it's blank, and in the converter it requires this hash and that's blank, so we need to copy this across. So I'm going to go to my list, I'm going to hit edit and just accept the warning. That lets me copy that value I'm going to save when I go over to here I can then put that hash in there and go over to my other object to put my hash in there okay great so all of these now know how to talk to each other it's a good start um, let's sort our converter out and let's add these two assets that's all it wants is these two assets so let's put the dynamic DNA up here and our set DNA here. So that's that one finished, completed. This isn't too bad, is it? Um, but let's have a look at our dynamic DNA names. And this one we'll call uh, Ears Elvish. And add that. So we've created an Ears Elvish name. Um, and let's go finally into here. And we can set which DNA name affects which morph. Okay, so let's add 
a morph into here and uh, first of all let's say what our DNA entry name is and we said is Elvish we now need to give it um, a blend shape to actually target with that DNA slider um, when the slider is in the middle it will have no blend shape we can set a value for blend shape 1 and this shows when the slider is at the top it will fully apply whatever blend shape I reference in here um, this blend shape 0 will be applied fully when uh, the slider is right at the bottom so for each of these DNA values you can actually have a slider that gives you two different uh, blend shapes uh, we're just going to use the one at the moment so the bottom half of our slider won't do anything uh, so let's have a little look at this let's pick that one and we need to know the name of our um, our actual morph now I can't remember that so let's run and have a look okay let's go in the renderer and there it is it's elf ears so with capital elf capital ears okay so let's head back over into our DNA set and say the top end is elf ears so when we move this slider that morph will be affected that's it that should be it <laughs> let's see if this works before we do anything else uh, and again this all happens automatically with bone uh, morphs I need to open the global library and I need to make sure I add these assets in there okay once I've done that fingers crossed when I press play I've got no errors let's have a look at my character uh, again all the old DNA is still there um, if we need to look at a new DNA set we pull this menu down and it's not appearing so something is wrong and the reason is just like before I forgot to add that morph converter to our list in the DNA of our male race data so let's do that now let's take that morph converter add it to the list there we go so now it should pick up that converter when we run here we go again all DNA is there now in this list you'll see our new converter there's our Elvish slider under the ears heading if I scroll to the top we now get Elvish ears using our morph because there was no morph at the bottom end of the slider it doesn't do anything but there we go that is how we can build up morph DNA now one thing before I leave you I just want to warn you that uh, the list that we have here of DNA must be in the same order as the list of morphs that you have here so if we're going to use is Elvish that must be the first one on the list here if I create another one it must be the second one on the list here um, originally that was a problem it will actually search if you've got them in the wrong order but it's a lot slower so just make sure if you're going to use a lot of morphs that you have the DNA and this DNA set in the same order but other than that everything works fine okay so I hope you found that useful and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for creating humanoid umas um, so I'm expecting you guys to all go away now to get your own models grab some DAS models, grab some iClone stuff, or grab your own, and work away making your own races. Should be fun. Um, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to make non-humanoid races next. Very similar process, but there's a couple of things you've got to watch out for. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.